the other way. Oh gets my. it up. Go ahead. Oh. oh! Relax and take notes. Just play defense, rebound, and run the floor. That's what we got to do to win the game. Roll the other way. Start. Uh, Trey. Oh. OTE semifinals. Playoffs is the best time of the year, and this series right here could not get any better. It's game two between the number one seed, City Reapers, and the number four seed, Cold Hearts. I'm your man, Overtime Day, alongside Davis from AMP and Sniper Jones. Yes, sir. Fellas, I could not be more excited for this one here tonight. Man. I already know it's going to be a good one. Hey, the energy is already here. You know what I'm saying? We got the best seat in the house. I'm excited for some playoff basketball. Now, Sniper, game one, Cold Hearts came up just short. Talk to me about game one. Even though they came up just short, you really couldn't ask for them to do too much more than what they did. They played a complete basketball game, but unfortunately, that's not enough for the Thompson Twins. They both had a great game, not to mention Trey Parker. What a coming out party, man. He dropped 24 points, had three steals. He pretty much played both sides of the ball for Rob Dillaham. He came came to life, and he played a great game. Now, Davis, the Davis Dodds. Due to the day was Ryan Buley, 19-11. He was a dog in game one. Hey, you would think it's the Thompson Twins or Eli Ellis, but you know who goes not as much notice? Ryan Buley. He does all the dirty work. Like you said, 19-11, double-double. Man, he did his thing. And, and he's exactly what the team needs to, to get those close wins. Now, who's this player comp? I'm going to have to go with Montrez Harrell. I mean, he brings a whole bunch of energy, gets the offensive rebounds, mm. and is really the glue of the team. Offensive rebounding is a specialty. Now, on the other side of the ball, the Cold Hearts, it was the Rob Dillingham show, Sniper. Can he do it again Man. in game two? Because he was unbelievable in game one. Not only can Rob Dillingham do it again, I'm actually anticipating him doing it again because the trash talk last game was so crazy, he got to come back with that same energy. If you're looking at the screen, you see it right. 29 points, six assists. We know Rob can score, but to see six assists with 29 points just lets you know how in the next level he actually was in this game. He was locked in. It's nothing I didn't see from him. It's nothing he didn't bring to the table. Rob was unbelievable, and the Cold Hearts are going to need everything they can get, including from Tyler Smith, who's questionable tonight, dealing with a toe injury. He was unbelievable in the first round of the playoffs, going over 20 in both of those games. Kind of a quiet game one against the City Reapers. They're going to need a lot from him tonight because, you know, Rob was carrying a lot. They're going to need some additional scoring. Mm -hmm. Now, the Cold Hearts are going to need it from a bunch of places, but first, let's check out the starters for the City Reapers. The league MVP and projected fifth pick in the draft, Asar Thompson. He was first team all OTE and the projected third pick in the draft, Amen Thompson. The star of family business and most improved player of the year, Eli Ellis. He speaks three languages and has played for all three OTE teams this year. Forward Nate, Messia, Dio. And he dominated game one with 19-11. You heard him, forward Ryan Buley. And now for the oh. Oh. Starters for the Cold Hearts, Nas Cunningham, Rob Dillingham, Tyler Smith, who in the time of doing the intro to now, just in a couple minutes, is now starting. Oh. Bryce Griggs and Santo Cyril, your defensive player of the year. News travels, news changes pretty quickly, huh, Sniper? A hundred percent, man. Uh, we thought he wasn't going to be able to make it tonight, and he is, and that's a big problem. And that's tough to adjust if you were the Reapers. Imagine thinking that you got a night off if you guarding Tyler Smith, and now you figure out you got to guard him. That's tough. I'd be, I'd be highly upset. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm swinging. 
<laughs> I'm swinging. We just did a whole monologue on corner threes last game. Tyler Smith might be the best corner three shooter in the entire OTE. This is true. The Cole Hart's out here with the cold jerseys, man. Cole Hart's got the best jerseys. They had the best jerseys on MLK Day as well, bro. Something about them jerseys that's tough. Don't, it, sleep, don't sleep on a Reaper shirt, though. It is rolling loud night here at OTE Arena. We are seconds away from tip-off. Game two of the OTE semifinals. And if this is anything like game one, we are in for a great game. Here we go. Wait, they got the Jordan 10s on today? Mm. Trying to do something mm. before to something. And Bryce is pointing the ball, saying there's something wrong with the basketball. Was not I'm not sure if I've ever seen this. <laughs> I think the ball flat. Flat ball. Right, we got a deflate gate going on. Oh, <laughs> Tom Brady has entered the chat. Somebody flatten the ball so they can hit more threes, man. That was my old method back nah, when I played my gate church is league. Insane. Bryce took one bounce and said, this is not right. Listen, man, I deflated all the basketballs in my local church league. We used to average 17 threes a game. It's a lot easier shooting flat balls. <laughs> any means necessary. By any means possible, man. Trying to win, man. All right. Bryce Griggs going to work. I don't imagine we're gonna to see too many open corners today. Oh, I like having, I like having the jump on Rob early. Oh, oh man. Tyler Smith. Oh, oh. Hey. The angle is fine to me. Come Tone on, is fine to me. Hey, listen. If you gotta have a bad angle to hoop like that, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh no no no. Great close Eli up. Eli Ellis. One thing I love about Eli's game, he's a great shooter. But the reason why is taking good shots. Eli will take good shots. Asar, mid-range. Ooh, he's knocked down. Here we go. Important. We are on the board, both teams. They got a man on Rob Dillingham early, and I like putting size and length on him yep. so he can't get a rhythm going. I like that. Now, oh, oh, way to shoot the gap, Nate. Big Nate. Oh, oh, we forgot something. No foul. Eli, oh, oh no look. <laughs> That's Nate, come on, it. Dio. What a pass from Eli Ellis. A lot of goggles on the floor right now. Yep. In game one, Rob was doing a lot of the heavy lifting on the uh, offensive Smith, end. That's what we were talking about, Sniper. Uh, I like that shot by him, though. We both know he knocked those down. Davis, who's going to be the second big-time scorer for the Cold Hearts tonight? Man, I'm actually surprised they're going to say Bryce Bryce Bridge. I think Bryce Bridge, oh my goodness. Easy, Bryce, easy money. there you go. <laughs> On cue, nicely yep. done. I think Bryce Griggs because I think he, he's played a distributor role and he can still run the offense of the team. And I think they need more offense. I think he's going to have to get some buckets up. I like that big Davis. Yeah, I'm with you. Bryce Griggs averaging just under eight assists a game. Asar Thompson from downtown. Uh, uh, I seen him work. Bruce. I seen him work on that yesterday. He took at least 600 shots. I seen it with my own eyes. They break down. They put in the work. That's a friendly roll too. It's not to get a little friendly roll like that. There's Rob. That's cutting, a yep. Kicking Bryce oh, off man. the mark. They getting good looks though. That's all you can ask. Yep. You gotta get back in defense versus the City Reapers team. Big Nate for three. Big Nate. In and out. Said, Big Nate started hitting threes, Thomas Smith hitting three threes. Hey, to start a, off, it's, it's, a, it's a Jordan, man. There's Rob Dilling oh, oh. the Kentucky commit. And the City Reapers are going the other way. I'm surprised we didn't see no trash talk early. I guess we got to wait till it get a little close. Eli, Eli. a little strong. Hey, yo, Big Nate is out here making a lot of plays that don't show up on the stat sheet. Rebound, dude. He's doing a lot right now. There's Asar Thompson, the projected third overall pick in the draft. Deep ball. Off the side of the air. <laughs> the side of the air. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a good one. They're running. Bryce Griggs going the other way. Oh, that's a great find. Rob Cutting. Hey! Rob Dillingham, great, great drive. That's a Windex lay right there, yeah. right off the glass, bro. That's nice. Windex lay. <laughs> that's a Windex lay, bro. <laughs> Wiping it off the glass. Come I like on, that. bro. Come on. Rob with 29 in game one on the board early here for the Cold Hearts. Uh, Saw going across court to his brother. All right, seven on the shot clock. If they dare him to shoot that, I want him oh, to take man. it. Nate. I like how he's switching to the left, though. All right, Rob running it. He's locked in. Look at his eyes. Oh, oh man. How did, he get, how did he get that off? I have no idea. The craftiness of Rob Dillingham is still not understood. Hey. Hey, Tyler's let's, looking good, man. Yeah, let's Especially take him off that toe. Eli finding Nate in the paint. That's, what a, a, that's a flashy uh, pass, double tap circle. 
Look at Rob, squeezing past. Off the Windex. I've been glad. Hey, everyone who's in the chat right now, we got 6,000 already off the jump. 6,000? 6,000. I need all you guys to drop a like. Just make sure. It's been three minutes. Tyler, just keep eyeing Like a wise man once said, we only need one like. Just, we need one person like real quick. Just one. Bruce, you got his toes out today. Duke said that last time. We just need one like. One, one person like it real quick. Yeah. We just need one more like. I got, let, let me know what you like. I got the same glasses, so if we change spots, you know, they ain't going to know what the difference is. You ain't going to know what the difference is. Hey! Coach Drones, Coach, Coach, Coach Golden Cedruski there. Nah, nah, come on, come on, come on. I need a, a, a cut-up right, in this trial. Nate, hey, Nate, yeah, man, watch I feel him. like I feel like watch I definitely can be on cut-up in. Drewski's, sure. had, Drewski's had the biggest smile on his face since he's walked yep, in the building. Drop, drop, drop. It's a lot to smile at. And he's been here. Gomes is Coach Gomes, with let him know. Oh yep. my goodness. Yo, giving Coach Gomes a mic. Hey, 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 thank like you, hey, thank you to 1K David for liking the stream, man. Me, Sniper, and Dave greatly appreciate you. OTE appreciates you. Thank you. You're a great guy. Great I guy. want it, Tish. Hey! Talk to him some real. Way he's strong. Don't forget about it's the strong, honey dip. Man. Don't forget uh -oh. about the honey if dip. If he honey dips again today, they need a statue of him doing the honey dip outside OTE. 100%. I'm willing to put down $20 on the statue. Uh, <laughs> Hey, every dollar Tenors. counts. Oh, oh. Big, big Nate jumping from the free throw line there. Bigger they are, the hard one. Oh. Cunningham. Pretty finish. Oh, that is a lace. Man, I like Nas' game more and more the way the, the more the season goes on. Oh, big boy. Eli. The defense, and I love seeing the Cole Hearts play like this. Hey, look, man, if the Cole Hearts playing defense like this, I think they got a chance of winning tonight for sure. An early five-point lead, five minutes into the first quarter. Cole Hearts gave them everything they could handle game one. They're, oh. they're coming out swinging again. We got to look at this dunk by Santo right here. Two it hands is. for safety. Ah. Everybody standing back. He even broke some ribs before, man. That's yep. heavy shock right there. Look at this. Up, under, and bring it around town. Around town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt Puley. Matt Puley. Come on. One. Man. Oh, man. Hey, it's probably cool having a twin. You know how much stuff I would blame on my brother if I had a twin? <laughs> I would never get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, mom, that was Matt. <laughs> you seen him do it. Look. 40% of people on the floor are twins right now. Hey, it's we, crazy. That's insane. We need we need about 400 more likes for 1,000 likes. Go ahead, like, Come stream. On. Do your part. Do your part. Oh, Dave, that's a great. Yeah. You got math on top right. of your head? Yeah. Four out of ten. Big math guy. Big, <laughs> big math guy. He shot a one-handed free throw. Free throw with one hand. He shot a one-handed free throw. Wait a minute. There's Wait no a way. Minute. Wait a minute. Nah, that's crazy. Now, at the next break, we're gonna need to see another replay. Yeah, of that. yeah, yeah. I don't know if I was tripping or if I seen a one-handed free throw. But, but Dave, if you got math like that, brother, you doing my text. Hey, <laughs> I saw him. The twins coming out shooting. I love seeing him aggressive shooting the ball. We both know that he can get to the basket. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh. Rob know how to draw a foul. Yep. I, I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> where this one-handed free throw came. Maybe it, maybe it was a bet. Three by a star right here. If the City Reapers are shooting shots like this, you're not going to win. So I, I want to see whether it, one, it was one. It was completely one hand. I wonder why. It's just too easy for him, baby. <laughs> it's like when you start. Yeah, hey, man. listen, bro. When you got twins and you can dunk on people. Hey, Tom, what's going down there? Oh, wait. We're going to come back. We're going to come back to him in a little bit. So we had Tom on vibe cam. We'll come back to him in a second. That's a men. Back to a star. I thought he was about to pull out again. Bryson Tiller. Oh, short. Oh, there you go. Tyler is snagging yep. boards right now. Good pass. Big shot. Oh, I would have seen. I would love to see Bryce do that. I think he want to just like maximize possession and get a better I shot. I like maybe. that. I'm not gonna lie though. Look at that. Both these two. Oh, oh man. man, pass that to the Reaper thing. Look at this. QB one throws it up. Good D by Rob Dillahan. The way to get back. Bryce and Taylor. Oh, a lob over the top. And this looks like a completely different. Like change of pace versus the, the game we saw earlier. It's high stakes, man. You yeah. lose, you go home. So I feel like they playing like it. Yep. I haven't seen too many bad shot selections. I don't really see too many people careless with the ball. I think they both understand how important this game is. Oh, oh. oh that's a Eli Els. It might be showtime. Up to a start. Both 
Dallas got a, got a clear step in right there. There we go. Yo, Ryan Bewley on the glass once again. He just had a big game. He can have another one. Ryan Bewley with 19 and 11 last game. Brings the City Reapers within three. Yo, if I'm getting into a bar fight, I want Ryan Bewley with me. I feel like he can <laughs> knock out at least two or three guys. Hey, let's take a listen to Ryan Gomes from yesterday. Guarantee tomorrow. That shit. We got the prime time game. Everybody's tuning in. Our game was the most watched game in the history of OTE when we played game one. It's like I always tell you, yesterday don't matter. Tyler, I'm calling you up, but whatever they put up on the mock draft, don't matter. Rob, the situation that happened with McDonald's, don't matter. Today's the new day that has another story, like I always tell you. Y'all writing another page on today, February 23rd. Tomorrow, y'all writing another story on that. Can't worry about the past too much because we always trying to move forward in life. At every step, we trying to just go to the next day. We like, damn, thank God I got up to, I got up today. I was mad about yesterday. Today I got a fresh day. I got to get up and brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, get to the gym, and see who I'm gonna be today. So tomorrow it's the same routine for all of us. It's the same routine. It ain't nothing new. All it is is like when we get on the floor, we think in 40 minutes of as much as we can be. Because if it don't go in our favor, we can't say, damn, I wish I had three more minutes. Damn, I wish I got one more game, because I know we could beat them the next time. We don't want to do that if we didn't give it our all for the 40 minutes we out there playing. That was Coach Gomes while I was playing. <laughs> we, we, we had ESPN's Israel Gutierrez shooting the half-court shot. Right, uh, right, and, go and, and he didn't right. hit the rim, right. go and he hit the right. three tries. Go he didn't right. hit the three-point line. We gotta, find, we, we, gotta find, we gotta find him for that. Oh, oh man. <laughs> get out, get out! <laughs> Bowman That's Malik Bowman. Hey! That's hey, look, he finished. That's tough right there. Hey, hey, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. Oh, man. Get out of here. Trey, Trey Parker. That's Bryce pushing it the other way. Oh, that's oh, the kick. Right. Yes. One more one pass. Judge and Ed Walker. Such a good player, play, man. He's so hey. underrated. I get it. Definitely. I get it. I like John Ed's game, man. So much. He can run an offense great. He can hit shots. And he's, man, that float is something, is something silly, man. I need that. I hey, need that. We got hey. 8,000 views hey. in the chat. We no. need at least 1,000 right, right, right now. Right on him. If you're enjoying what you're watching, like and subscribe. Man, there you go. We got it. We got it. Oh, great pass. Hit that like button right now. Left hand. Thompson. Tic tac toe. Give and go. Hey. Direct. Matt. Matt. Direct. Go in the corner. Malik. Malik. Having Coach Matt, Ryan going right. like, uh, mic'd up is like right. KG a mic. Oh, a great hustle. Cool. I love it with the rebound. He's got to the pillar, man. That's what's going Come on. on. Tops. Oh, somebody opened the window. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Get back, get back, right? That's all it is. You can't help me back. I guess you can't make a move. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, when they, when we down there. She love piggyback, right? No, 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 get on, get back, Ted. Thompson's two-man game, that's undefeated. There we go. Top of star, oh, can't there, leave there, a man there, open. There, there, there. Hey, listen, the only I'm telling y'all, no hesitation. Come, none at all, none at all. He's locked in, he's ready to play. Yeah, he know he the had, lights is bright. And, and that's, that's why I feel like he's gonna shine the brightest, man. Right. He's ready for the moment. The lights are super bright today. Lights is OD bright. I should wear shades around here. That bright, bro. Asar with 15, 7, and 6 last game already with 11 points, three threes early in front of over 20 hey, hey, NBA execs, back, GM, hey, we scouts, here. BG. player BG personnel hot. in the building. Get you on, you on. Hype is real. Get on. We you know what I call that? I call get that up, get up, get up. We got to get up. Turn it on, turn it off. Yup, turn it on, turn it off. Yep. Oh, oh yes, man. Yes. Cobbs. John Ed, John Ed Walker. Walker. Oh, good pump. Watches him fly oh, by what? for three. Oh, no foul. No foul. No foul. That, that is insane. That not being a foul is insane. That, that's just a bad, bad oh, call. Bro, number 30 right there. Coach Ryan Gomes, throw it to you. Oh, 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 oh
Flip it, flip it, flip it. And I hate to comment on the ref, so flip I'm it, trying not to flip it. it. Oh, so, but that's yeah. man, I'm asking the ref for a fade. I know. Okay, maybe I. We got subs and all. We got subs and all. Right. Wow. No foul on that. Let's take another look here. Let's take another time look. Out, time out. No, we'll oh, that's the Walker three from the top of the key. Great shot. Because if you're going to the same side here, you got to work. But if you get up there and go this side, now they're going to be late hey, on the other side. This is the left Thompson left. finish. Man. Hey, can you let the ball up like that? Oh, you, got the subs, you got the subs in? Hell no. No, no, I, 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 I probably can. I probably, of course I can. Hey, let's listen to the Gomes huddle. Zone, real quick in the zone on any pass. Pass and cut through. This is bump the guy right there. You know, so we got a guy right here. Yeah. Offense guy passes here and cuts through. Don't let him just cut. Like impede his progress a little bit and then let him get behind you. Don't let him just cut because that little fake ball fake here. Then they throw it right here in the middle. All right, that's one thing. Next thing is when big job. When big job. I want here, to. Right? But we can get this ball screen here too. All right. Whoever this is, if the guy here setting low, come from the opposite, low ball screen, that gets you into the middle and makes your decision. Where's the man? A man. Did you have a layup? Like that left hand layup? That can happen every time if we just attack. If we just attack. All right? Don't hold it, just attack that. Hey, hey, defensively, they're in the paint too much. They're in the paint too much. All right? Build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. And it's always interesting when Sato is in the game for the Cole Hearts, big number 32. It changes everything that the other team does. Sato's back in. I'm expecting to see a lot more City Reaper shots from, from the perimeter now that Sato's defending the paint again. And the scary thing if you're a Cole Hearts, even though you're winning this game, is that they're hitting their threes now. Are they capable of doing that for an entire game? I don't know. But man, City Reaper's team hitting threes is obscene. Before I seen Santo play, I heard a lot of about him. I didn't know if it was true. After seeing him play, I got even more good things to say about him than I heard. Santo is Nobody's amazing. penetrating. John Ed, you gotta John Ed Walker. Santo! Oh! He has a family! My God! Body to body! Come on, hey, I think man. that's the best dunk I would see in history. My chair, it my chair is standing up now. I, I gotta oh, get my chair back. The wow. rim is still shaking. Goodness. Asar says, quiet, please. Wow. He is in a bag right now. Asar is hot. Man, that's, that's your MVP. Yep. That's the MVP for a reason. Come on, man. This is gonna be a great game, man. Yo, that dunk was hit. Hey, like up the stream oh, if you like what my. you just saw. What in the world? You're Let's take another look here. Sopto. Uh, He's the defensive player of the year. Hey, listen, man. If I'm, if I'm Jaden Williams, I'm not even touching my phone because I already know my, my Mitch is going to look crazy. I am on D&D, win, lose, or draw. If we win by 30, I'm still turning my phone on. Don't care. Yo, Asar is putting on the show tonight, bro. Black History Month is a celebration of black culture. It's about honoring the rich traditions of black artists, the achievements of black innovators, and the courage of black champions of civil rights. It's about paying tribute to those who paved the way for future generations. There is no American history without African American history. Thank you, Coach Lado. That's right. Let's celebrate black history today, tomorrow, and every day. Because American history is black history. The action that we have in this game right now, you have the Santo poster, where I think the rim is still shaking on one end, and then the MVP says, quiet, please. Hey, listen, Asar is showing everybody why he won MVP. And more importantly, he is taking advantage of everybody who stepped it back and dared him to shoot the basketball. Oh, yeah. Really, the way to beat the City Reapers is to play a little bit off, force some shoot yeah. from the perimeter. We've seen so many teams do that this year, this season. And if they start hitting those threes consistently, it's so, a wrap. It reminds me of when uh, Greg Popovich tried to force Brian to shoot threes when they was going against him in the finals. But Brian actually started knocking them down and they had some trouble. Then this is Brian's going to get shooters with him. Trey. Oh, that's Troy. Oh, 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 wow. oh, oh. oh. 
a little, a little bit of frustration. Jaden Williams, <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you should be. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? What are you yelling at right now, Coach? Say it again. What are you yelling at? I'm yelling at my squad. I should be yelling at you because I, I, I shouldn't even be doing this interview right now. I'm not I'm wearing not, a city. I'm not messing with nobody who's got it black and red on right now. No, I'm rooting for you guys, though, okay? Well, I don't see it. I don't see it. All right, how do you think the first quarter went? The first quarter went well. I mean, Asar Thompson, golly, he made, I think, every shot. He, yeah, I think he had four threes, three threes. Yeah, he made, I think, four threes. But uh, I'm, I'm satisfied with what we're doing. We got guys who don't normally shoot those shots, shooting them, but today he's making them. Good still, John Allen, go! Not good. Didn't, oh. That didn't end good. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Help him up. And we're going the other way. Santo rim. Santo rim. Hey, coach, talk to me about Santo real quick. I feel like he wants to break the rim every time. Yeah, he does, man. You know what I mean? He's, he's doing a great job uh, protecting the rim for us. Travo! Travo! <laughs> You're so good at multitasking. Yes, man. It's a game we need to do. It's a must win. Hell no. Just... I'm going to let you go back to single tasking. Back to you guys. Hey, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Coach Gomes. Coach Gomes is locked in. Yep. <laughs> Tom said single tasking. All right, Tom. Two point game here in the second quarter. Asar Thompson has 14 of the 24 City Reapers points. Mm. In his own right now, bro. And I feel like that type of confidence is dangerous for the cohort. You do not need a player with that much talent feeling like he can get a bucket at any time. While Rob Dillingham airballs his knee. Saw right. back to work. That's Jonette Walker on him. Trey Parker, Trey Parker in the Grinches. Jump. He can definitely get it going. Y'all seen he had a big game last game. Tyler Bay. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Love the hustle. When, when Samto was in the game, it, oh, it changes man. everything. It changes it's everything. a game changer, man. That, that and, is, I, and I've never seen this cold hearts run like the, the way they run. I'm not gonna block everything, man. He, he's sending it all. FedEx next day shift. It's gone, bro. Averaging three and a half blocks per game, leading the league. Three and a half blocks per game. Man, possessed. When you playing against the best players in the country and you still average three, three and a half blocks a game. All right. I've seen a lot of nods nice around the I don't want to see him heat up. Ooh. I don't do. I like that. Nas Cunningham with four, four early points. They need to get him going. Eight points in game one. We know what kind of player Nas Cunningham is. Nas is so tall and lanky, and it's so impressive to see him play like a point guard. Yep. Tough cover. Like, bro, I think he's still growing, in my opinion. I yep. think Nas can get like six, eight, six, nine, and Man. still be a point guard. Averaging 14 and five a game. He's had a great year. 100%. The number three player in the class of 2024. I'm interested to see how, how, how the Thompson twins, uh, more specifically, Asar, are going to keep shooting this game. That, that's going to be the game, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, they're hitting those shots. So, hey, <laughs> Tom, I believe you have Israel Gutierrez down there. What's right, going down, on, Tom? Thanks, they were down here with Israel Gutierrez from the SBI. And you've, been, you've been here all week, I think, right? Talk to me about the Thompson Twins a little bit. Asar's got, I think, three or four threes in this first half here. What do you think? It's funny. He's found his shot, that's for sure. Uh, in the warm-ups, the men's shot was looking pretty clean. It, was, it wasn't hitting any rim, and then he airballs the first, and then Asar goes nuts. So I think they both are feeling pretty good about their shots, despite what a, a men with the airball. I think they're feeling pretty good. That, that free throw right there from a men was perfect. And I got to ask, NBA comps for those two specifically, are there guys that their game reminds you of? Yeah, um, a man reminds me of Grant Hill back in the day. Um, and Asar, Asar is like a utility knife. I think he's a little bit like, I don't know, I think a Pascal Siakam type, but probably a better passer. Um, I think he's going to be a little bit more like his brother when it comes to on ball, when he gets the opportunity in the pros. And so, yeah, I think those are probably two decent names. They're pretty good comps. I, I would take those NBA careers myself. Um, we got someone good on behind me, which I always miss. But those two guys specifically, they're my, they could end up on the same team or not. Would you want to see them play together in the NBA? No, I'd love to see them. I think it would be better for them if they were, you know, on de separate teams in large part because, you know, a lot of these teams have rosters with, you know, combo guards with wings and you give them too much, they probably won't get as much playing time. They really need to sort of flesh out all their skills separately on, ind on, on individual teams and who knows, down the road, if they really want to, that would be a cool thing to play together. Yeah, exactly. And 
Who's one player besides those two that you check out and you're like, oh, I could see them kind of being a breakout star too? Because those two get a lot of shine, but there's a lot of other, there's a lot more talent here. Two syllables. Samto. I mean, that dude is a ridiculous defensive player. Samto Cyril um, got the 7-5 wingspan. Like, it blocks everything around the rim. He's only been playing basketball for a handful of years. Tell me how many times. You've heard that story a few times, right? Some of the best players in the league have only, you know, only maybe discovered basketball at 16 and, you know, have that type of body and end up being great players. And I think he is, he is definitely has the ability. And, you know, with another year or so of refinement, that dude's going to be a beast in the NBA. Yeah, he's amazing. He's also terrifying. If he ever shakes your hand, it kind of hurts. Um, last question for you. You've been here for a week. What's been your favorite part? Talking competitiveness. What's been the favorite thing? Honestly, it's this atmosphere, this whole thing that, you know, OTE has put here in Atlanta got its own little community like this place is packed it's you know friday nights seems like a lot of fun here tuesday night it was packed as well and you know it gives it's it's great to see all these people in the community come out and support young men who are trying to you know go somewhere in their career and and feel that sense of community and feel that sense of pride and and you know now that they've changed to these uh awesome team names and jerseys you've got like a lot of gear that you can wear and it's i see it around town some so I, that's my favorite part it's just the kind of community that's been built around here awesome well, we appreciate you having I appreciate you coming out here you're wearing a city reapers hoodie i won't hold that to you though all right back to you guys in the booth <laughs> Tom, thank you. Now, great interview by Tom. That, that was amazing. That, 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 that was a professional level interview. Amazing. However, he, he didn't ask Israel Gutierrez about those three air balls on the half court <laughs> that, shot. That to me, that, <laughs> that's, that's kind of soft. Tom, that's kind of soft. That's all I'm going to say. Was that's kind of soft. That was the craziest shot I've no, seen. It, Israel, Israel's, the, Israel's the man. Israel's the man. And we, and we thank him for showing out. He's been, he's been great to have here. Absolutely. Great job, Tom. Santo at the line for two. Yo, he hit it right on the head, bro. When people ask me about talent here at OTE, I don't even get too deep into players without mentioning Santo. He's going lead, bro. He's an amazing defensive talent, and I believe other players like Nick Claxton, other people that came in for defense, he can work on his offensive game and be a better offensive threat. But 100%, I can see Santo in the league have an impact on the NBA team. 100%. He's 6'10", but he honestly, he, he looks a lot bigger than that. Yeah, he does. Wingspan. You know what the wingspan is? He's 7'5". 7'5", wingspan. 7'5", wingspan. That's me. That would be top tier in the NBA, had to see one. I, I thought you were talking about the, the span you ate seven wings. <laughs> <over there. laughs> That's a wingspan too, buddy. Oh, oh sorry. Man, he's wow. 16 points for the league MVP. Wow. And he knows who's in the stands, and he's making sure they better recognize. Oh, oh, so oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It is it's over. It's ridiculous. Hey, listen, this it's, is getting ridiculous. It's 20 scouts that see his soft though put on a show. Asar? Every time Santo has a man. big dunk, Asar tries to quiet the crowd. This is Dude, ridiculous, man. It's insane, man. What is going on? He's a, he's a whole, oh, oh, oh. There we oh, go again. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you gotta make that pass. I wanted to see that. A man Thompson. Yo, foul. I love Bryce, but dang, I wanted to make that pass so bad, bro. Oh, my. Let's, let's take another look. Look at this, bro. Santo. Oh! Don't jump in with him, man. That's the M1. He did it on Jay at first, and I bet you Nate was like, couldn't happen to me. And now look ah. at him. Boom! Listen, bro. He might get cuffed when he leaves this building. That is a double body. <laughs> Somebody get him out of here. Chad, what do y'all think about that dunk? Is, are, are these dunks from Santo the best dunks we've seen in OTE? I don't this year. Santo, every time he cocks the ball back like that, this whole, play, this whole place goes quiet. Goes quiet. They and then just explodes. my chair. Very <laughs> dumb, bro. Why are you always, why you do that? I'm, I'm excited. I can't, I can't even hold that again. I'm excited. <laughs> I can't even hold it again. If I would have failed, I still wouldn't hold it again. Dang, I'm like, that's the legend. <laughs> the control room is going to need to take a look at Davis, Davis's reactions on, on those Santo dunks. <laughs> Crazy. Only if y'all can see what this gym looks like right now, man. Not only the stadium packed, it's people standing up around the building. Man. The energy is amazing Nas here. Is it, man. Nas Cunningham feeling it from the mid-range. Pullat, I want to see you pull with no remorse. I love it. Call Hart's going the other way. I like how much uh, how, uh, the good defense they're playing on Eli. Yeah, you're right. They haven't been letting Eli get a lot of easy shots. I feel like that's an easy way for the Roosters to win, man, when they got their X back. Oh, nice. no. Nice. And he got 
Oh, about to and they oh, finally caught Warwick. They finally yeah, caught Warwick. We waited two games for it, but Nas got it, man. Yo, Nas got like this, 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 uh, Tayshawn Prince body, right? Like very lanky, tall, skinny body, but he's like bony strong, though. Yeah. You know yeah. those guys that's like, they can't lift no weights, but they strong in real life. <laughs> Six, seven. 163. That that's 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 163. <laughs> Six seven one sixty three. Forward from Gladstone, number three player in the class of 2024. He's a tough cover. Tough Damn cover. 100 percent man. And mark my words, you heard it first. He's not done growing. If he's six seven now, he will be six eight six nine for sure. His release point on that mid-range jumper. Yep. All right. Hard to guard. You know who it looks like. Who that? It is? I knew it. I, I knew mean, it was going there. I knew I mean, it was going there. It's not a stretch. Nah, I mean, not. Not, we're talking one of the best players of all time, but just when you watch a shot like that. Nah, you saw her. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, I, I agree. The release point is up there. I want to see Rob get out there. Yeah, though. Rob can't get on the board there. I don't think he shot again since that mid air. Rob with 29 points in game one, six points so far tonight. I think the last game, yeah, he kind of was cooking in the first half and the second half. Got some conversation going on, not sure. I think there's a point missing. Uh, cold hearts. And now I think about it, we've all seen Rob do crazy things, but I can't think of a time he did like crazy things like back to back. Mm -hmm. Right, he'll have like a crazy game chill. Hey, sorry to interrupt you there. Tom, what's going on down there? For blue, that's correct. What happens what if the horn blows, they make her in, and everybody stops playing? Give me that 19. What just happened? On the last free throw, on the last foul, we, it was a three-point attempt. We only shot two free throws. That's we're stupid. still in the correctable area time frame, so we're going to shoot one free throw and put the ball back for cold hearts. Point of interruption. Point of interruption. All right, throw it back to you guys. I, I don't get it at all. Hey, Tom, we just to stick your nose in there. We got... Conversations between the coach and the ref. Tom says, I want in. I don't like how Tom pressed the ref and didn't press it. All right. No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, Tom. Hey, <laughs> Tom's throwing up his hands. What do you want from me? Nah, man, I love Tom getting in the middle of it, man. Great guy. Two point game, cold hearts up with four minutes left. Elimination game, game two. Insane. Be sure to like the stream. Sniper Day, tell them, tell them why they should like the stream. Hey, y'all should like the stream because this is one of the most entertaining games you're probably going to see in a long of time. Of all time. Right. Oh, and more importantly, it's a close game. Before we even lead the first half, 36-38, all the stars came to play. I can I can play, bro. Now, I can play. All we wanted was a game two just like game one. I think we got to get it. <laughs> and so far, we are. It's a close game, man. Hey! Bryce with two points. I want to see him be more aggressive. That's a good pass. Great dish, though. Nas, nice. a little strong. Great. Oh, Nas, nice. yes, good dish. Get him out. 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 Get Oh man, he's strong. He's strong. Hassan Thompson. Oh, my goodness. Hey, one. He's having himself a show. He's too strong. 16 points in the first half. 18 now. 18 now? 18 now. Excuse me. I don't mean no disrespect. 18 points. Rhythm jump shots are great. Great dish from Nas Cunningham, man. Hey, be sure this, to, to share this stream too, man. Hey, you want your friends to, to see this? You want your mom to see this? You want your cousin to see this? This game is going to be one for the ages. Let's see your brothers do me. Brothers, aunties, cousins, uncles. I don't want to miss this. Asar trying to complete the three point play. Yeah. In the zone, bro. In the zone. <laughs> I would not be surprised if he moved up the draft board, bro. Asar said he wants that one, that, that first pick. You know what I'm saying? 18 of the 39 points. Asar said it belongs to Asar. Oh, wow, what a play. That's a nice play. You see how he's in that lane? Skip to that lane. They need more of that. It feels like he can do that at will. Oh. And of course, the man said it ain't no fun if the brother can't have some. So he's going to the <laughs> line. Hey, Chad, it's almost a tie ball game. Who do y'all got winning this game? 
Who do you have winning this game? Yeah, that's a good question. I want the Cole Hearts to win because I want to go to the third game and I'm a Cole Hearts fan. Of course. Um, I always root for a team that's down in the series. Yeah. You have to. It's hard. It's hard. It's so hard to pick. How's your success been doing that? The <laughs> room for the team. Now, Asar has been unbelievable tonight, but a man, but but a man, but a man is just as I mean, third overall projected third overall pick. He has 10, and the Thompsons are accounting for 29 of the Reapers' 41 points. Yep. What can you say? But a man. <laughs> Man is like that. That's all you need to say. That's all I need to say. Oh, Bryce Briggs almost. Uh, what a skill. Oh, look. Very fast. There we go. Trey. Look out. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Let's hope everything's all right. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. That looked bad. He's up. He's good. Let's, yeah, let's take another look. That, that looked bad at first. Oh, man. Uh, you hate to see that. Yeah, came down hard. I'm glad to see him get back up. He's a tough kid, man. Tough kid. Tough He's kid. super tough. And I love, like, yo, it'd be so many kids waiting after the game to take pictures. I've never seen him say no one time. Nope. He'll stay, he'll stay an hour to take pictures with the fans, bro. He, just, just like that. I love that about Six one guard from Fayetteville. NC State Wolfpack commit. He gonna make them proud. He definitely gonna put on for y'all. Hundred percent. We know what kind of dunker he is, but he's just an underrated basketball player. It's even that's kind of crazy to say. Twenty four points in game one, knocking down threes. Misses the first two free throws though. Both, both free throws, excuse me. Funny you going to NC State because he jumped like another NC State guy, Dennis Smith Jr. They both got that bounce like that. And another Fayetteville guy, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you yeah. Go. Another Fayetteville guy, you're right. They probably know each other. You gotta be tapped in around there like that. Now, overtime release, our first team, all OTE roster. Let's check it out right here. Another steal. Samto, Jordan Burks, uh, the graphic just went off there, but Samto, the Thompsons, unbelievable years, deserving a first team all OTD. I'm not mad at that list at all. That's a W list. One point game here in the second quarter. Cold Hearts up. It's a close one. Hey, Dave, who you got one in this one? I gotta say the Reapers again. Mm. I gotta say It'll the Reapers it again. It'll close it out. You know, I I said it before. I always love, not love. I always kind of root for whatever team's down in the series, no matter what sport it is. Um, but City Reapers, man, hard to beat. Hard, hard to beat. Hard to beat. Hard right. to beat. I and, feel like I feel like the Cohorts played an almost perfect game. And it's still up. Exactly. And can I tell you something else? That's crazy. Eli Ellis, the best three-point shooter in the league this year, has not hit a three in this series. Ah, wow. They're up not only one game, but basically a tie game here in game two. So if he gets hot, that's just another weapon for the City Reapers. I don't think they're giving them no room, man. I love that. Yeah, you got to play him honest, man. got to play him honest. Eli makes you play every time. OTE record holder of most games in the game. Who would have hit that? Nice. nice. Oh, a little too much. Who was that even to? I don't know, man. He shouldn't have went with the flashy pass. Asar to a bend. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, he shouldn't have went with the flashy pass there. I don't even know that was too. The game's just too close for it. Yeah. I just can't believe that the Thompsons have accounted for 30 of the 41 points. I just can't believe it. I'm not going to. I can't believe it. 
You, you know what it feels like? It feels like watching the Mavs the other night with, with Luka and Kyrie. I like just, that. Just a two-man show. I like that, man. And we know what kind of, you know, how deep the City Reapers roster is, too. They got a great roster. I think that the Cole Hearts roster is a little bit deeper, in my opinion. I think that's where they got a chance to make a run. But, hey, they got to play a perfect game. I mean, they got a tall task ahead of them. Beating the Reapers yep. will not be easy. Davis, this Cold Hearts team has been injured the whole year. They finally are healthy, starting to gel these playoffs. I mean, I was talking to you about it before the game, but like, what do you think the ceiling would be for this Cold Hearts team if they really had the whole season to gel together? Man, I think, I think it's all the world of the difference. I think that's oh, also man. Man. That is a foul. I hate to be that guy that's a four-point play low key. That's a foul. High key, high key. I, I try not to talk about the rest too much. I got a few DMs after the last game. <laughs> We're talking about the road. Eli, pumps, mid-range. Made it. Knock oh. down. Made it. Nah, but this Cohort team definitely remind me of the Clippers. It's a lot of talent, a lot of injuries. They never really get to play a lot together. But I feel like Chris Paul's Clippers? No, the current Clippers. <laughs> I, believe the, I believe the Clippers got the deepest team in the NBA, but you still got a question to see if they're going to go deep in the playoffs just because chemistry and injuries are different. Good, buddy. Eli, wide open, wide open. Two man game. They're trying to feed the hot hand right now. Look at Tez. Tez has his hand right in the star's if face. He hits oh, that. Man. Bryson, the board. The turnaround fade. That's going the other way for the Cole Hearts. That's a good defensive possession right there. Excellent. Tie ball game, one minute left in the first half. Doug PSK said, everyone who's winning this one-on-one, -on -one, a men versus Rob Dillingham. Ah, oh, that's tough. Let's take a look at this three from Tyler. That's, that's a foul. A, that's a foul. Yeah. And that ref, it's right in front of you, buddy. That's the same ref. That's the same ref, bro. <laughs> He's taking it out on the cohorts, too. Before this game, yeah, Eli, Dre I'm Gibbs sure. Longhorns <laughs> was, was none too pleased oh, with man. that ref. Tez steps out. Oh! City Reaper is going the other way. Sorry with the ball. See what he decides. Oh, let's skip past. Big Nate. Nate. Big Nate. From deep. Oh. Nate confident shooting that thing, man. Coach Leto must have gave him the green light. Yep. I don't know. If I'm John Nate, I'm throwing that up there. He asking for it. I'm going to give it to him. Heck, we talk about some uh, Bryce's feet. Davis, what are those? On his feet? Yeah. Kyrie once, right? Kyrie once, and he got him think. dressed up in that Cleveland Cavalier colorway. Yeah. That wine and gold, man. That's the true Kyrie one right there. Yeah. Kyrie one home. Oh. Ohio, Ohio guy right here with sniper. Oh, man. I'm a Cleveland guy, so you know I got a rep. Ain't too many of you ever out there. Chris Paul to the Cavs? OK. Bryce. <laughs> oh, oh, That's whoa. over the back problem. That's nah, clean. Nah, <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way that's clean. There's no way that's clean. Love the effort from Tez. That's what Tez in there for, man. He's he going to get on guys, hold them accountable, and he definitely going to give it his all. One second separates the shot clock and the game clock, but we have a City Reapers timeout first. That's a top ball game, man. It's a, co it's a close game. It's a great game, man. Hey, what's been... Go, Ralph. Actually, I want to get back to that in one sec. Let's throw it down to the City Reapers huddle. Coach Lado. All right, hey, hey. If, if they got, if they're in man, oh! If they're in man, just go about 12 seconds. Go uh, horns two. So you get this here. All right, try to go off the, uh, the big guy here. So you pop out with this shoot. It's a hard roll. All right, Eli, you're on the strong side here, okay? And then we, and then we go. The success you have is getting right here and then attacking them whether it's lift fake or not, okay? And then you got to sprint back on D. If it's a zone, if it's a zone. All right, just, just sprint to the high ball screen. Same thing at 12. Come and penetrate. Got to kick out, get a kick out. Got to come under. But this is the thing. We'll get wherever we want, all right? The big fellas in the middle. Then you, uh, then you lift take him, all right? Wait, what time you going? No, 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 no. 
Yeah, we, we don't need anybody to middle. Said, that's right. Let me send Ryan and Cleveland. Right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Reapers, one, two, three. We have a tie ball game, a right. packed house here at OTE one, Arena. Two, two. Standing room only, over 20 execs in the, the building. Money, coming off the ball Watch the all the talent here on right. the floor. It is out, quite a Friday night atmosphere here, right here in Atlanta. Here. And, and what else could you ask for? Full, fully, fully packed arena. Hey, hey, in the building. Wait till about 12 but seconds. most importantly, Wait till 12 you got seconds. Sniper Wait till Jones in the seconds. building. Mm. Oh, come oh, on, man. Wait till I, about 12 I thought seconds. you were about to say Drewski. I, I didn't yeah, think he'd be able to show his seconds. face after that last outfit. Oh, but the fact that he made it back in here. Goodness. Bro, I, our producers put me in the worst situation possible. Yeah. Shout out okay. to KJ, man. <laughs> KJ had right. me wearing a medium hoodie. And they put 17 battery packs in my back pocket, bro. Oh, oh no, get bro. that off! I wonder who the foul is on that. I hate to be a, a referee. You've been saying that all day. I hate attacking the referee. I'm, done, I'm, done, I'm, done. I'm not gonna stand for this, Davis. I'm Leave the refs alone. There is nothing he loves more than hey, being a referee. You know what? I'm yeah, a referee. <laughs> That's not a foul. <laughs> Nah, bro, if you don't press a ref before this game ends, I got to hold you accountable. All right, let me see if it's a foul. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Not foul. Right, I'm going to talk to him right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be right back. Nah, nah, Davis, don't do it, bro. Just sit down, sit down, sit down. I've been, been told to sit down. Yeah, man. We don't want to, I, I just want to see if you had enough guts to do it. Honestly, I was ready for him to do it. I, I was going to say, go ahead, young man. You know what? Go ahead. The thing yeah. I would not like to see, though, honestly, because I love watching Tom to play, is Tom to get in, and he has to sit down now because of the foul trap. Absolutely. Because of, you know what? He makes such a big impact on the game. Yeah. Foul, but foul, I'm going to be foul. honest with you, though, bro. Unfortunately, hey. Santo deals with the reality of being the biggest, strongest player on the team, which unfortunately gives him a disadvantage when he challenges shots. It's the same reason why people like White Howard. Exactly. And, and, and the reason why LeBron doesn't get fouled because he's too big and too strong to work against him. By Santo being so big and strong, man, when smaller guards attack the paint, he's going to have to take them five fouls. Seconds, five, five seconds, five seconds here, five Walker. Again. That man is fast. Oh, man. And the Tyler Smith pull up to cap it off. 47 45, City Reapers pull ahead late. Great first half. Man, incredible. Picking up right where we left off for game one, too. I mean, there's nothing you can ask for more. Both these teams are, are playing great offense, great defense, hitting tough shots. I'm super, super impressed. We're now joined by Asar Thompson. Asar, great first half by you. But before we get to that, what was going right for your City Reapers squad in that first half? Man, I don't know. We weren't really, we weren't really playing defense. We didn't really do anything good. So I'm excited to see the second half. <laughs> when we start playing defense and doing stuff good. You had 19, including four threes. Talk about that, the groove you were in, especially early in that first half. I just want to win, so I saw an open shot and I took it. I wanted to be more aggressive. I feel confident, so I'm going to shoot it. Asar, good luck in the second half. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. We'll be right back with the OTE Halftime Show. We got a great one. Don't go anywhere. OTE Basketball. Stick with us. Everyone's always asking me if winning the OT championship is going to be easy. And I tell them, does it look easy? Finding a good neighbor? Now that's a different story. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome to the OTE Halftime Show. What a game, 47 to 45. The City Reapers are beating the Cold Hearts. I'm your host, Overtime Tom, here with my boy Sniper. Yes, sir. What a first half, incredibly close. But before we do anything, we're trying to give away some gear during this half. What you gotta do right now, if you're in the chat, 
Comment Sam. Just comment Sam as many times as humanly possible. My boy Sam is running the chat, so I want to show some love to him, of course. Just just keep saying Sam, and we'll give you some gear later on. Is it on. too late for me to go in there you and spam You can't win Sam? anything. You I, already got good gear. I need more merch, <laughs> Tom. It's so much. Look at that. I ain't got this shirt. I know. I'm special. But what do you think of that first half? One of the best of the OTE season. Absolutely, man. What we saw from Asar Thompson was absolutely amazing. The confidence in him stepping in, knocking down shots, not turning down none. I think it definitely showed the City Reapers that, hey, listen, when he's making shots and when he's confident, we can follow up behind him and we can take and make good shots too. I mean, the Twins, it feels like they scored every single point in that first half. And, oh, my God, the Santo, Come the, on, the two posters that Santo had was just, like, mind-blowing. But, look, the Twins, especially Asar coming out and he can shoot in front of all these NBA scouts. If I'm a scout, I'm going back to my to my owner. I'm like, hey, we found our guy. And if I'm a scout, you know who I'm putting on that mock draft? <laughs> Santo. Somewhere, yeah. somehow. I don't know what year you want to put him, how you want to put him. Hey, it's like bread. You can eat it sliced or you can eat it whole. But you better get it while you can. Santo is a beast. He's playing both sides of the ball. He's dunking on people, getting blocks. He's a beast. Hey, and also Trey Parker on the City Reavers. He had a huge game uh, last week or on Tuesday night in game one. And then tonight he came out. He's doing his thing. That one attempt was scary. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, always unfortunate when you see players go down. Fortunately enough, he got right back up, went to the free throw line, and I believe he's going to be playing the rest of the game. He's a tough kid. He jumps so high. Like, it's like, it's like sometimes it doesn't make sense. In the first game on Tuesday night in game one, the City Reapers won that game. He kind of had to shoulder a lot of the load. I think he scored 24 points. Um, so I think if he can get going in that second half also, it's going to be another, another big show for the Reapers. Not only did he have 24 points, but he had a lot of timely baskets. That game was so many different point changes from City Reapers up, now the Kohar's up. He made so many big baskets to take the lead and take momentum. It was a lot. One of the, one of the key players of City Reapers, they got a ton of guys. Eli Ellis having had a, uh, a nice shot earlier there. The Twins, obviously, their big men are stepping up. But Trey Parker, obviously, one, one of my favorite players. So we're going to check out a little piece on him right now. Let's, just, let's check in on Trey Parker. Let's see what Trey talking about, man. Name's Jermaine Parker. Oh, my goodness, Trey Parker! Trey Parker. Trey Parker. Trey Parker. Trey Parker. He has that it factor. I love it. I love it. Every time I step on the court, it's showtime. He can fly. It's showtime. I grew up in Fayetteville. There's a lot of raw talent down there. My brother, Quay Parker. I was just watching him all day, every day. Watching him grow up, watching me grow up. Just learning from him. I think I improved a lot. My game, shot, great space on the floor. And his athleticism, as we see, you know, obviously he's a social media darling because of his athleticism, but I'm more interested in basketball athleticism. And then use his incredibly powerful legs to his advantage on offense and on defense. I think I bring energy and explosiveness to the team. My family is my biggest motivation. It made me choose the number I wear because my grandma, she passed at the age of 69. So I wanted to honor her this year. One thing I remember about my grandma is, is the way she just always just come to me and say, just keep pushing, keep fighting. She always there for me when I'm up, when I'm down, it don't matter. I work as hard as I can. I push myself so I can't push no more. Nothing's going to be given to you. You got to go get it. I guess I just asked, what is it, what's it like to be back, you know, basically in your hometown playing for this overtime team tonight? When I go to NC State, I bring a lot of energy, like a lot. The fan base I already got there is it's going to be crazy. I want to make records. I want to make people remember my name, not as just something like Tremaine Parker. What I'm looking forward to is the next journey is making my family proud and making me as a better person. Trey Parker, man, I mean, one of the most athletic players. Everyone talks about his dunks. I love seeing him play hard on defense. I think he's been a great addition to the City Reavers. He got traded here in the middle of the season yep. from the Cold Hearts, and he's been a great, like, spark plug off the bench. And now, I know you've been watching his game. Oh, of course. He's got an NBA style to him. Who's his Absolutely. NBA comp? If I had to compare him to anybody, without a doubt, it's Nate Robinson. And I know what a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, it's Nate because of athleticism. Don't forget how good of a shooter Nate was. I was watching him at Washington. I was watching him in the NBA. No one made me talk about the Chicago years. He could shoot the three, but of course, he also has tremendous athleticism. Trey's a little bit taller, but when you look at a small guard like that, the high jumping ability is insane. 
I love that we picked a, a Nate Robinson pick of him in the Nuggets jersey. Yeah, man. Them Nuggets jerseys. <laughs> Look how big them shorts was back then. You see the difference, though? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy right there. Um, hopefully, Trey Parker doesn't box like Nate Robinson, who, you know, famously got nah, knocked nah, out. No, 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 no. Bringing up uh, that is crazy. <laughs> hey, Jake Paul's got a fight tomorrow. I had to bring it back up. I love you, Nate. You're always part of the overtime family. But hey, Trey's been amazing. The City Dreamers team, I know um, Asar was a little back and forth in his halftime yep. interview, but I think they've been playing pretty well. We're going to see what Coach Lado had to say about this first half, though. Let's check out the locker room with the City Reapers. Bad news is we have not played anywhere near our capability on defense. Am I right? All right. The ball is living in the paint. So now kick out, man, open shots, finishes, all, right, all the stuff that we talked about. All right. <laughs> my, my joke to, to myself is, uh, when I say play the next play, I don't mean don't play the, the play that you're in. All right? You got to play the play that you're in. We're like on the weak side, the ball being dribbled, all of a sudden uh, a guy roll. All right? Why has Sumto got three dunks? Because this guy here is late. He's late. And we come here, and now we got to, why, why aren't we getting him at the nail? All right? Why aren't we getting him at the nail on the roll? That's, didn't we talk about that? All right? So we got to clean up our defensive effort more than anything. Could you demonstrate that on the board? I don't think Defensively? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, hold on, Sean. Uh, uh, yeah. What I'm saying again is, 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 it's really alertness. That's the, that, that's what it is. Okay. So first of all, we're doing a, a, a better job by percentage on blacking, are we not? Okay. Welcome so, back to the OT halftime show. Now I know everyone's commenting, Sam, right now in the chat. You can stop. <laughs> All right, we're going to give away some gear. We also want you to comment now. Who's your favorite player in the whole entire OT league? Comment that. Now, Coach Lado was drawing up some stuff in the locker room. That's all well and good. But I don't know if any of that is going to help him stop Sompto. Hey, listen, <laughs> Sompto's on an absolute tear right now. Y'all seen the dunk he got on Big Nate? And Big Nate name is Big Nate for a reason, okay? Dunking on Big Nate is not an easy task. A lot of tried, a lot of failed. Look at that. Two hands. That's the second body of the night. He also got another one on Jaden Williams as well. And look, I got to tell you, last game we see him do a honey dip. Now he's just out here dunking on everybody, bro. I Look, I love when people try to block shots. It's so cool. I'm so pumped that you want to play defense. Don't, don't try that. Nah, not at all. Like I said, if I'm, if listen, if I'm Nate or if I'm Jaden, I'm, I'm, I'm literally turning my phone on DND. Even if we win, do not tweet me, do not text me. Yes, I saw it. I was there. I had the best view in the house. I got dunked on. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Coach Gomes has to love having Sompto on his team. We're gonna try what Coach Gomes is saying in the Cold Hearts locker room right now. Hey, we're doing a good job. Only thing we gotta clean up a little bit, take care of the ball, a little bit more. We got 11 turnovers, but guess how many fast break points they got? Six. That's why, it's the, that's why it's close like this. I told you, we keep him in the half court, we solid. Asar, he got to go and he made four threes. Him, he made four and Nate made one. They only got five threes. So what we put on the board, the shooters with who? Eli, Trey, we doing a great job on that. Asar was on the list, but he was the third, four, he was the fourth option on that list. He made some, he tried to loosen us up, but we got to see if he could make more. Percentage is always way out at the end of the day. So let's make sure we're there. We got to get a little bit more closer to him and still worry about Trey and Eli because we know what they're capable of doing. Uh, other than that, in the you said in the pick and rolls, what did you guys say? Because I forgot because I had the other day. In the pick and rolls. Yo, in, the pick and, in the pick and roll, when y'all are dragging the, the ball screen out and that big dives hard, it may not be that first pass. It may be the swing back yeah. to the wing and then yeah, let, let them attack. attack or hit the big. You know what I'm saying? But it's I got that. Up. On any of that pick and roll, even though Biggs, we worked on that, remember? We worked on a little slip to the paint. So, guards, if he's not open, I know we worked on that so much. If Matt's not open or something's not open, what they're saying is hit it to the left or right side and let that guy swing it in there fast. Because Ryan and uh, when Jaden was in, they out. They have, they're out on the perimeter like this on both of y'all, on the guards, on anybody, John Ed, all three of y'all. So get it to, if you can't get it to the middle guy, get it to the wing. Let the wing guy go ahead and swing it in or tack off the baseline. Tez keep trying to attack on the corners. You see how they're closing out. They're closing out hot on the corners. We just got to make sure we stay in bounds and we don't travel over there. We can get baseline drives and little dump offs. All right, anything else? Last thing is Matt, what did you say? Move the ball. Move the ball, maybe a little more. Just a little, little, little more. Okay. okay. We'll run some zoom action. Let's, let's try, try to, to stay away from, we go zoom. Remember, zoom's a dribble handoff, but let's not make it be with both twins. 
Because any Zoom with both of them together, they trapping us. So it got to be at Eli. It got to be at Tyler Bay. It got to be Welcome back to the OT Halftime Show. Make sure you guys are pressing that like button right now. We've had a great first half. It's 47 to 45. The City Reapers are up on the Cold Hearts. The Cold Hearts are 0 and 4 against the City Reapers this year. They're still playing them tough every game. Listen, just because you're down don't mean you out. It's a lot of tough battles they didn't have. Sometimes you don't always get the victory. But all you need is two games. And technically, you need a game in a quarter. Right. You can pull that out. If you can just win this game, there's been times that you've outscored them in a quarter. Yep. And that's all they need to think about it is. You win the game and just beat them in a quarter. And we were just showing Rob Dillingham, he didn't have, like, an explosive first half. And the Twins did. And for this to still be a two-point game, I think that's that's pretty indicative of, like, what the Cold Arts could do if they put it all together in this second half and they really turn it up. Who do you think is the player that needs to go off for the Cold Hearts in this second half if they want to pull out a win? I'm going to be honest. You said it right there, man. Rob Dillingham is only one for three. Let me ask you a question. When is the last time you've only seen Rob Dillingham have three field goal attempts in a half? That, that dude wakes up shooting, so I'm a little I'm a little shocked. Rob Dillingham having three field goal attempts is crazy. Not because of any other reason, but he's a pure five scorer. I believe if you want to get a chance to win, you want Rob to take more shots. And I definitely think that that's going to work. Shout out to Nas, though. He's been holding his own. And if you're the City Reapers, what do you think that you guys got to do in the second half to, you know, really pull ahead? Because they're, they're used to getting out on the break a little bit more, getting more easy baskets. It hasn't really happened. I feel like they're already doing a great job. I just feel like... The complimentary players have to step up, but shout out to the Cole Hearts. They've been playing good D on guys like Eli Ellis, not allowing them to get open threes, which is a big reason why the, the, the City Reapers are hard to beat. Totally. And look, 47 to 45, the City Reapers are up. This has been an amazing first half. Can't wait for the second half to get back into it. This has been the OT Halftime Show with Overtime Tom and Sniper. We'll see you for the second half. Peace. Yes, sir. OT fans act like they know who's going to win the chip this season. And I just tell them, y'all crazy if you think any team is a lock. You know what is a lock, though? Our fam at State Farm. They're reliable, and they're there when you need them. Just like a good neighbor. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome back to OTE Arena. Game two of the semifinals between the City Reapers and Cold Hearts. City Reapers <laughs> with a two-point lead. What's going on tonight? The kid, hey, hey, Drewski was joking when the kids, he said, these are my sons right here. And then the kid said, daddy. And Drewski said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, D. I was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Two-point <laughs> two game. Hey, I was talking to Drewski during halftime. I said, who do you got? He said, he said, I'm a big fan of Sompto. I'm going with the Cole Hart. Shout out Drewski, man, tapping in, bro. Man, celebrities always come outside to OT. You never know who you're going to see in the arena. That's you, why you pull you up, You never man. know. You know. And in case you don't know, that's Sniper Jones. Oh. That's Davis from AMP. And I am Boy, overtime hey. tight. You just saw a sniper up there for uh, for the halftime show, but that man is everywhere. He's everywhere more than Drewski, honestly. Come on, man. I'm everywhere like broken glass, baby. You know where we at. <laughs> Come on now. OK, OK. Come on now. We're working. <laughs> Two point <laughs> game, Bryce Griggs back to work. All right. Cohort's got to put together a solid Tyler, Tyler Smith. Smith. Off the mark. Off low. Be sure to like the stream. Sorry. So I got to tell you something a little concerning for the Cold Hearts. The Cold Hearts are shooting 53% from the field. Wow. The City Reapers only shooting 34% from the field, and they're up by two still. <laughs> Amen. That's a strong Puts take. a finish. He's just, four. He's just bigger, man. I'm surprised they ain't been seeing no trash talk and no drawing in this yeah, game, bro. I think the, the execs are outside. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, that's, that's smart. That's, a, that's what you call a business decision. Hey, you know, the, the, the script writers, they said they said no trash talk. They said no trash talk. <laughs> yo, when I seen that, I was like, yo, what's going on? Nas, a little short. Hey, Tyler board. Smith. Oh, it's staying here for the Cole Hearts. Let's take another look here. <laughs> the script writers is great. He's just bigger, a man. stronger. Yeah. I want to see another 
Santo body of Bum being done. Three in the game got to be, I know it's not a record for most dunks on in the game, but like three has sure? to be a record. Three got to be a record. My producer's in the back. If y'all can find that record, bro. Oh, oh Price what? splits the defense. Corner Thomas three. Smith. Oh. Man, that's Seven. his spot, too. The transition D continues to hurt the corner. Oh, oh my God. Let's take another That's look. Than another body. That's the play of Are the game. Are you serious? Oh so my goodness. What? Two hands for safety. Nate tried to get his good back. He oh, said, no. No. Ain't no Wait. get back on. Um. Yo, somebody draft Santo, bro, before I start a little league team and draft him <laughs> myself. Insane. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. So, this, so, place, so, this, this so, place is stunned from that. We got, we just got Intel back from the back. Most dunks in the game ever was seven. Yeah, I don't think Bajik Howard. I don't know if he topping that. That's not. Uh, you so you talk about dunk on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how many dunks ever in the game. I wonder how many posters been in the game by one person. I think this got here. Nah, it's also another mid range. Oh, also Jaden oh, Quaid is hold the hold the record for blocks in the game, which is nine. Nine blocks in the Nine game. Blocks. Almost having a double double with blocks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's getting, a, it's getting a little chippy here. Eli a little shaken up. We'll see what they call here. I think they're just calling that a common foul. Take another look. Oh, that boy oh, Santo man. out here. Yeah. I, I pulling think, cards. Yeah, I don't think that's intentional. That's hundred percent. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm saying intentionally hurtful. I don't think it should be a bigger foul. I don't think it should be a bigger foul. Man, we gotta talk a about man. Two skip pass. Eli, that's his spot. Boom. Can't leave that man that open. Is. That's a, that's how you get revenge right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, you wanna put your hands on me? Put your hands <laughs> on three of these. <laughs> yeah, you guys should talk about shooting of a star. A man in a star just impacted the performance. If Eli get it going, the floodgates are breaking open. Yeah. I really think that a man has been able to make Rob very uncomfortable tonight. He only had three field goals attempted in the first half, which is nothing like yeah. Rob Dillingham. Rob Dillingham going to go for his. 29 points in game one for Rob. Six years so far tonight. I know he's got more in the tank. I'm expecting a big second half here. Come on, man. Rob Dillingham. It's only right it's when to go home, and I think that he's one of the best scorers in the entire league, so I would love to see him just go out swinging. Four assists, and he does average five assists a game, which is six in the league, so he is getting done in other ways. Davis, talk to me about the kicks. I'll give you five dollars right. if you know what shooters is. Here. I'm gonna just say, I mean, they're Kobe Ace. Let's call, yeah. What is the name? Oh, I, have oh, I don't know. Venom, like, snake, I don't know. Venom Mamba. <laughs> that's, that's the best I can Chat, do. if you know, let us know. I don't want to spoil it. I want to see if the chat knows. Okay, chat. I, are, are we sure that Sniper knows? And he's not just asking yeah, the chat. Come on, right? Come, right? come on, man. Come on, man. Sniper knows every right? shoe. Hey, oh, I, I, I Sniper knows about shoes that the shoe inventor hasn't even thought of yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Hey, listen, listen, listen. The drop-off window is open just in case you need to come by. That's a drop-off pass right You there. don't want this game to, to start falling away for the Colharts. Eight-point lead for the City Reapers. Colharts need to shift the momentum. That's Nas from downtown. That's a good shot, though. I'm not mad at that. Oh, man. man. Way to keep it, Rob. Oh, Rob. Steps out. Hey, look, that's a good strategy. If you're not making shots or not getting clean looks, go to the free throw line. Make oh, there's the Kobe 5 chaos. I mean, Kobe 8 chaos. You looked at the chat. I see you look at the Kobe chat. Kobe 5 chaos. <laughs> you looked at the chat, bro. 11 1 run for the City Reapers right now. I see that really dumb. Yeah, right, I was like, gonna say. Look at right next, and you right next to me. Look, Davis, I'm with you. I don't think Sniper actually knew. Yeah, But, but you know, looking at the chat. You know? <laughs> Sniper doesn't have issues, don't get me wrong. Oh. Rob. Oh, oh, good D, good D. Oh, oh man. man. A little out of control here. Yeah. Thompson going the other way. Mo Turtle, Eli. Oh, man, this could get ugly. 
Jimmy. Boom. That's the last thing they needed for him to heat up. That's the last thing he need. A nine point oh, lead. Talk and Eli with too. a big smile to Nas. Nas grabbing his knee a little bit over here. I hope everything right. good with him. Let's take another look at that Eli three. Cross court. Man, I mean, going this is within 10 feet. Wide open. This is about as wide open Splash. as the Dreamers was last game. <laughs> Nobody was ever that wide open. Yo, no, bro, like, where the guy was already getting on a bus when they were shooting three. You're going to go home with $10 in OT cash. How does that sound? All right. All right, here we go. Y'all go ahead and like up the stream. We need 2,000 likes right now. Now, this week, oh, overtime announced, second team, all OTE, Bryson, Warren, Eli, Ellis, Tyler Smith, Alex Sarr. A lot of impressive, impressive performances this year. Jaden Quinton, just dominated, dominated. 100%. Excellent. Congratulations to all these people. At least that is. They all deserve group. it, man. These yeah. are great. There's so much talent here at OTE, man. No matter who's playing, you win for a show. So if you got a chance to come here, don't even look at who's playing. Just buy the tickets. Eli, the youngest player at OTE, the last pick in the draft, and all he did was win the king of the court this year, leads OTE in three-point percentage, and is averaging 14 points a game. And what a great story that is. I mean, it's like, okay, you're gonna you're gonna draft me last? Look at, look at the performance I'm gonna put on for this entire year. The king of the court champion, the absolute sniper he's been for the, Col uh, for the City Reapers. I mean, I bet if there's another draft, that won't happen again. He'll never go last with you, man. Never. No. You might. Right. But not Eli. <laughs> I'm not going to last in the outfit uh, competition. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Just being if I wore what I wore last game, I wouldn't draft you. Malik Bowman. Beautiful. Hey. Oh, wow. Hey, I, I said it once. I said it twice. I said it a third time. Matt Beauty does not get the respect that he deserves. Especially filling in for something. Yep. And I think we have Tom down here on five cam. Tom, what's oh, going no. on? Oh, you oh, want to get you real quick? What? Good shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need more of them. What would you give your uh, give your team a letter grade so far? C minus. C minus. Man, you guys are of what? You're... You guys played before. Yeah, right. not, this isn't your best, I guess. Huh? This hasn't been your best, I guess. Yeah, we gotta be great. We gotta be better. We gotta be a lot better. We gotta be a lot better. What do you think about people? Oh, you gotta dunk there. Transit, we defend, we rebound, we run. That's what I rap about that. What do you think about the fans saying that there's a script written for this game already? Yeah, you just could call it conspiracy theory. You're part of it. No, except for today. I like it. You're not part of it today. I got a city reverse shirt on for you. I thought you were part of it. Yeah, I got your back. Are you winning tonight by 17 points? Not everybody. Yeah, it's gonna be. They know how to come back. They know. You know that. They know how to come back. We gotta play every play. All right, coach. Well, I'm gonna let you get back to winning. All right, back to you guys. Thank you, Tom. C minus when you're up 12. That's that's tough Same. grading. Oh, oh my! Wow. Nice. Wow. Hey, listen. A man Thompson. The floodgates oh, have opened. Man. The floodgates have opened. Listen. What we seeing right now is called the Eli effect. Yup. They are literally leaving the paint, letting them get wide open dunks because they're so afraid of Eli Ellis getting open threes. That is why when he's hitting, they're a totally different team. You're giving the Thompson Twins free driving lanes. Big Jai in the game too, I'm happy to see him play. There we go. And we, we saw the hot start that Asar had. Ahmed now has the same number of points, so it, I mean, it is tough. It is tough to cover the city. Big job known for having the biggest calf muscles in OTE history. In history, human history. Absolutely. We don't need for a lead, man. Cole Hart's got a strike now. And y'all gonna strike that like button. We're only 100 likes away from 2,000 likes live. Mm. Love to see it. Fourteen right. point game, just under five minutes left here in the third quarter. Cold Hearts seemed to kill on a little run. Definitely. They gotta find something on that pick and roll, man. Yep. yep. They keep missing them. I know it gotta be frustrating. We 
got a foul here. Uh, how, how many points a game? Reapers. Chat, how many points a game do y'all think you all would average if you were playing in the OT? Be honest, too. We about to see some 30s and 40s, man. No, we're not. Yes, no, we're not. They're going to be honest. They're going to be honest. So who, who will put 1.2? Zero. People that know themselves. How much would you average, Davis? Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt, but fellas, we got big bonus right here. Okay. Davis, who's getting it? 14 seconds, one man advantage. Each non-shooting foul after the Tyler 15th Smith. foul. Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith in the corner. That sounds good. John Ed. Take a walk. Man. Oh, 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 oh. Not hit shots. Tyler. Oh, connects. Good stuff, Tyler. 0.2014. Seven. Sixty zero zero. I see a lot of people saying zero two. I respect your honesty. I would never put zero. <laughs> Snapper, I would never put zero. Your knees, you're not getting in the game, but I got the oldest knees you've ever seen in your life. Tyler Bates going up with this? I've never <laughs> played zero. Tyler Bates trying to go up on something crazy. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? All right, thanks, Dave. I'm down here with my favorite six man of all time, Isabel. We're sitting here the Cold Hearts. How are we doing? Good, how are you? I mean, I'm all right. You're all right? Now, you're sitting next to the Cold Hearts, but I heard rumors you don't know which team you like more. The Reapers. You're a Reapers fan. Reapers fan. Who's your favorite player on the Reapers? Trey Parker. Now, you met Trey Parker before the game, and I heard he did something pretty dope for you. What did he do? I did. So first, he brought me a t-shirt and a hoodie, and then he came back, and he brought me his sneakers and signed them. So you have signed Trey Parker sneakers? I have signed Trey Parker sneakers. Nobody's getting them off me. I know they're going to be worth a lot in a couple years. They're not going anywhere. You probably have the YouTube chat going crazy right now, asking where they can get a pair, but they're all yours. Now, you came up a long way to this game. Where are we traveling from? I came from Toronto, Canada. All right, this is your first OT game. What do you think so far? Who's going gonna, who's gonna to win this game? The Reapers. And then the Reapers are going to win the whole thing? Yeah. OK. Am I your favorite member of overtime? Yes. Let's go. My real brother. Yes. Isabel's brother works for overtime, but I'm your real brother, and I'm your favorite. All right, last last question here. If the Cold Hearts win, will you root for the Cold Hearts tomorrow night? No. All right, we got City Reapers fans here and two. Isabel, amazing, best six fan ever. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Isabel. That was a great interview, Tom, and by no way was she forced to say you are her favorite. Definitely not. <laughs> I just want you to know that. All right, 10-point game. Let's see the Cole Hearts. Coach Ryan Gold's kind of gave him a Eli, Eli, Eli step Ellis, back. Man. Oh. Off the mark. Plenty of time here. We've oh, seen yeah. these Cole Hearts storm back plenty of times. And we got another big bonus. What you, what you, what you see here, Davis? Talk to me. I, who, who's rocking it, though? I'm trying to see. I believe it's the Cole Hearts. OK. This is going to be a Santo dunk, I my brother. I was thinking that, too. Santo dunk. I was thinking that, too. might even be a, uh, 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 what do they call it? Wait, wait, Tom, what do you have going on down there? Hey, Malik's locked in for the big bonus. By the way, I love the big bonus. I'm, I'm really open for a dunk here. Snipe, you've never told me what your strategy would be in the big bonus. Back to my, you guys. My strategy in the, oh, oh. Oh, oh wow. Strong. My strategy is get a ball to him. If he's going to, if he's going to do that, that's my strategy. Seven days of the week. I Twice love, on Sunday. I love that Tom was on the court about Ooh. to interview Malik Bowman before that big bonus play. <laughs> Tom is a great interviewer, bro. A star he's in the deep. corner. I'm short. <laughs> Man, pump fakes. Short as well. Cole Hart's going the other way. Do y'all believe that like they have enough in them to make a comeback? Yeah. I eight mean, point it's an eight-point game. Eight-point game. I just don't feel like the energy is where it would oh, need to man. be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe right. it's the same thing with like uh, Word of God last game. It's like, is it possible? Yeah, but I, you know, you got to see that energy. You got to see that dog and that fight in them right now. It was 14 just a couple minutes ago. It's down to eight now. Oh, a star. Oh, to a man, to Ja. Bodies oh, finish. Oh, man, you don't see too many people ja, finish on something with the paint. Ah, man, Ja's a strong dude, bro. 6'11 center from San Diego, California. You know Ja already, though. Ah, boy, bro. I wonder why they went away from Santo. I don't even think he has an yep. attempt this quarter. 
Well, the defense, you have to give credit to the City Reapers for collapsing on that. Nah, that's not true. They just haven't passed on the ball. Kind of, uh, I feel like he's been open on a lot of those pick and rolls. They're just not giving it to him. I'm with okay. you, Simon. I'm with you. Because once he gets the ball in the paint, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That could put the team in foul trouble. Now the guards like Bryce Briggs and Jonathan Walker and, and uh, Rob Dillingham can get to the get to the line. Big bonus time. And now the City oh, Reapers man. are going the other way. Asar to Eli. Oh, back to ball. Asar. Let's see what the call is here. <laughs> we got a little bit of yapping from the coach a little bit. I'm standing coach right Lado, not too happy. Right I see a smack they, they, me, me. I'm not me. going hey, that Chad, you think the call hard hard come back? I can't help it. Six seven is intimidating. I can't help it. Man, I can't man. help it. Six seven is intimidating. Hey, you guard up. I can't help it. Coach is six seven. I'm going nowhere. I just let make the call. About five seven, it ain't no big deal. A man to a star, the floater. Would have been nice. Another puzzle. one. Another one. Watch out! Watch out! Rob Dillingham back in the game. Let's see if he can turn it on. He needs to. Rob with the ships. See, look, there, there you go. go. Santo, find him. Stop that. Find him. That's it. Stop that. Yeah. You may have a point, Mr. Jones. Thank you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is going to shape up. As long as the cold hearts get in running? this quarter strong, this is going to be a great game. Oh. A man, That's dishes, a star, drives. Oh! oh. 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 That's a foul. I mean, and this is this is the problem I had last time too. With the, with the I need to take I'm another sure, look at sure. that. I don't think that's a foul. Chad, let me now, know I right said, now. I said for you. That's not a foul. That's a block. I'm not gonna say it. Chad, y'all let me know. Is that a foul or not? Because I, I got a lot of love for Santo, and I feel like he gets a lot of calls. Here we go. Let's, Let's see. see. I'm not saying uh, anything about block, this position bro. yet. Let's see. I ain't even gonna see. I don't. Yeah. I don't think Man. that's a foul. I think that's a defensive basketball attempt on a dunk. Chat, what do y'all think? You can't call that, bro. Uh, also, it. also, I know Santos bigger, but standing in there, come on, with a star flying down the lane. Give us all some credit, wow. though. That takes some guts. Hey, to do that. hey, Tom, what's going on? Man, man, uh, so you had a front row, you had a front row seat there. Is that a block or a foul? That was a foul all day. Santos can't stop the half. I saw foul. Did he, uh, Santo, foul you at the end there? He kind of elbowed you. Yeah, he's. Uh, I said that's a foul, and he just elbowed me in my chest for no reason. He got anger issues. You think talking trash to the biggest human in the whole entire planet is a good idea? I mean, I think it's a great idea. Who wins in a fight, you or Samto? Me, what? <laughs> Samto going to try to jump, I'm going to take his legs out. He's going to land on his back, probably start crying to the ref again. But, you know. You realize 20 million people can see this, right? 20 million is crazy. All right, what do you have to do to win this game? Um, you know, keep doing what we're doing. Oh, man. Boo! Hit shot. Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Offense, and you know, we're gonna win the game. Impressive performance. All right, man. Well, good luck in the fourth quarter, and uh, good luck with the rest of your life. Back to you guys. <laughs> good you. luck with the rest of your life. <laughs> Thank Sorry, you, Tom. Thompson, man. Let it fly. Eli, Eli just, just always chill. They are calling so terrible fouls on on Santo. Hey, listen, yeah, I'll give Santo really credit man. for being. If y'all think Santo got anger that issues, come out, man. I don't know. Try. Oh, 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 let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, that was a... What elbow is he talking about? Listen, <laughs> if y'all think Santo got issues, y'all lucky I ain't him. There would have been some trash cans flying around here. <laughs> so they giving him some terrible foul call. Taking him out of the game. Really? And that's unfortunate, man. That's not what you want to see. You don't want to see the best players out in the in the games. Especially if I feel like, yo, if he hit that, Buley with the rebound. They got it. They got it. Oh, oh, got good up. Great way to end the half. That will do it for the third quarter. 11 point lead for the City Reapers. We know the Cole Hearts can come back, but they're going to need to get it going here in the fourth quarter. Let's take another look at the Asar three. Nate to Asar. Mm. Straight buckets. I want to take another look at the Sopto. Oh, we'll be right back on that one. And also on the Sopto play as well. Now, 
the S S Samto, the defense player of the year. We've seen the blocks. We have a little more on Samto. Oh, Samto on the block. Oh, oh my good two head blocks. Oh, love it. I love it. That is, that is your defensive player of the year. It is crazy the kind of impact he has on games. Yo, I'm going to be honest. As a guard, if I see Samto out there, I will take 23 as a game before I decide to lay the ball up or enter the paint area. I am not going around him. And once again, it's not even just the blocks that he's getting. It's the amount of shots. If, 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 if there's a statistic on how many shots you the amount of shots, not only you change, but you made people like shoot me. Like it's, it's a stat that you wouldn't yeah. even be able to can calculate. Yeah. Davis. How many times you didn't make someone go to the paint? Yep. Oh man, it'd be like 50, 60 a game. Yep. Davis, I like what you said on Tuesday about in 2K back in the day how they had the badge. Intimidator. Yup. Yep. That is Samto. 100%. Will this Cole Hearts team be able to muster a comeback without without him in the game for a bulk of this this fourth quarter? I don't know how I feel about you using the word muster, but I, I, I you know I let you slide. Muster the strength. Asking can they muster up the strength? <laughs> what are you 80? Got to muster up this comeback. All right. Quarter three. Start now. Malik Bowman. Can happen. Ah, uh, good board by Rob. Rob Dillon. gets it back. Uh, and that's going the other way for the City Reapers. Now with no Sopto in the game, yep. we've seen it a lot this year, especially in game one. Everything is in the paint for them. Now in the corner. Oh, whoa. All right. Yeah. Guess not. Uh, I thought he threw a lob. Yep. Oh. Nas was hot in the first yeah. half, too. Oh, I don't really see him doing too much. Got to be a frustrating game for Nate. Got dunked on, got blocked. Then they're about the corner thing. I'm asking you, bro. Got a lot of love for Nate, man, but man, gotta be a, gotta be a tough one. I like how you like, I like how you say crazy things and then you double back like, but I love this guy, like, you know. Like, it's not personal. It's not personal. Yeah. It's business. I'm, I'm just, you know, doing my job, man. If you're intimidated by Nate, just say you're intimidated by Nate, man. I am too. I think there's also oh a part goodness, of it. And one. There's also a part of it where if you're playing against Sopto, you know you're gonna get it a couple times. Nine point game. It's not over. We got Rob Dillingham on our men. Oh, oh that's a walk, right? They call it a ball. jump ball. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are no, you, that is, a, that hilarious. is a travel. That is, a, that is hilarious looking. <laughs> oh my God. Chat, what do you, I, I, I'm not, I, I ain't saying that, Chat. Chat, is, is that a, uh, is that jump ball or jump ball, Chat? Listen, bro, like. Yo, you know what's funny? Yeah. The City Reapers are winning the game. Uh -huh. They're winning the series. Yep. And they playing like they wanted more. A hundred percent. Yep. You can't, you can't, you can't take that away from the Reapers. Nas. Nas. That's a crazy shot. Oh! All right, what do I know? Shot, Nas. I'm with you. I need to see I need to see some urgency from the cold hearts. Yeah, man. Sure. Six point game, eight minutes left. They're right there. But they gotta play like their season's on the line. Oh, it oh, is. What a play. And here we go. Oh, oh, Matt gotta look down. Bryce. Oh! oh. Quite a follow on that? Wow. A man I'm not sure if that's a foul. I'm out not of sure nowhere. I gotta check it out though. Yo, that's not a foul. He came out of nowhere. Yo, let me stop saying that for these refs. Press me. <laughs> nah, if it was me, I would be worried about it. Right, let's see if this is a foul. I'm not, I don't think this is a foul. Okay. Yeah, that is a foul. Yeah, that's a foul. That is I, said, I didn't know if it was a foul. I, yeah, 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 that's, that's a, a foul. foul. That's, that's got to be a foul. Yeah. I only saw the second block. I didn't yeah, see sniper, like the first. I'm never. Oh my goodness. Man. I'm never. I'm never gonna gonna follow sniper's lead on if that's a foul or not. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. lost that. Yeah, I lost you lost it. it. You're done. If hey. I was the coach, I would lose every challenge I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. I would be challenging the most obvious cause of all time. <laughs> just, would... just frustration challenges. <laughs> oh, for sure. Throw the flag. You know what I'm saying? Five-point game. 
Four point game. Don't sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Like wow. the stream. You don't get any type of basketball like this anywhere else. Why does it feel like they're down by 30? I, I don't know. It's a four point game, two possession game. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Thanks, fellas. I'm down here with Coach Watita from the YNG Dreamers, who won earlier today. They're 1 0 in, the, in their playoff series against the Holy Rams. I see you jotting down some notes over here, though. What do we got? We just want to get ready for the next game. So we're just writing some plays down, seeing anything where we can. Well, can I see him? I mean, I can show you a little bit. No. <laughs> That's our game plan for the next game. So we got to just be prepared and put ourselves in better position to win. That's what we're trying to do. You know, 100 million people just saw it, right? We're good, man. We're chilling. So everybody knows what they're running, but we're fine. We're awesome. And you're out here watching the City Reavers. How, how does someone, how does a team stop the Thompson Twins? I mean, you can't. You just got to try your best, but for the most part, you really can't. You just got to stay in front, I guess, but you can't. And I always get ahead of myself. So let's say you make it to the finals. Which team do you want to play against? I want to play the Reapers. Why is that? Because it's expected. We know what they're going to do, and we know our game plan against them. We beat them before, and we can beat them again. All right, Coach, I like the confidence, and I like the notes, too. Keep it up, all right? We appreciate you. I'll see you later, Coach. Yeah, two costly possessions. I love how the views go up every time Tom interviews somebody. <laughs> it went from 100 million, it was 2 million at first. Oh, man, very costly possession. Yo, they not playing like, oh, oh man, a man. Yeah. They not playing like they want it, man. I think it's over. Seven. Yeah, there's six minutes left. Hey, listen, bro, a, I caught it last A 7-0 run in the last minute man, for man, the City man. Reapers. We cannot be down in the series and in the game. Like, yo, body language. Yeah. Right. got to make some better passes. Kicks. Nas drives. The City Reapers are going the other way. Oh, my goodness. Puley. Man. Ryan oh, 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 Puley. Oh, oh, oh. 867. Hey, wait, hey, way to play if you're the City Reapers coming into this game. A 9-0 run. Eli Ellis, man, letting it absolutely fly. We've seen Eli Ellis shoot over competitors. He shot that one over his teammate. Man, it's an easy dunk by men. Both we... the men and the stars showing why they're such high projected draft picks. Love seeing him on the fast break, man. Impressive hey, game. Rob had an unbelievable game one on Tuesday, but have really haven't seen much from him tonight so far. Seven points, man. I definitely thought Rob Dillon was gonna come out a little bit more aggressive this game. But to their credit, they've been playing some good defense. 100%. I, I hope that with these final five or six minutes left in the game, he takes the opportunity to just let it fly. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, no, he, he has seven He has seven assists, and that's part of his game. But they need buckets. They need buckets ASAP. And he was their primary scorer in game one. They haven't, you know, they haven't gotten that production here in game two. Part of me is sad, man, because if, if the Cohards lose, this can potentially be Rob Dillingham's last game in Cohards jersey. It is, it is. It's not potentially, it is his last game. Yeah. Hey, you're right. A part of me just want to hang on to what might be. Yeah. I, I guess it's over, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Six, six minutes left to find out. The end of an era, my friend. Yeah. Short lived era. Very viral, though. I tell you. That. 100%. <laughs> uh, 100%. Very viral era right. of the Rob Dillon era. And that's just excellent defense right there from the start. Oh. Rob Dillingham. Rob. Short. Short. Said Reapers to start slowing down. Yeah, taking the air out of the yeah. ball. Yeah, Eli Ellis, man, way to come alive in this in this game. I love how Eli is so patient with his shot. Very. Man. He don't and when his nothing. time comes, it's here. No foul on that insane. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these refs do not call fouls on the three-point line. Hey, they just <laughs> refuse, bro. They refuse. Hey, I've witnessed 16 fouls. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Thanks, Wells Ham. Down here with rapper Lutz Tyler, who's been here all night. You're repping a Dreamers jersey right now. Is that the team? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we got the dub tonight, man. For sure, that's the team. All right, you got to win tonight. And then yesterday you were here filming a little music video, right? What was that What was that like? Yeah, that was a good experience seeing the court. This is like an NBA court. This, it is hard. You got a favorite player out here? You know, Rob Dillingham. I know Jalen Martin from Florida. Jalen Martin, yeah, he hard. All right, now you're 16, right? Do you hoop a little bit? 17, all right, do you hoop a little bit? I, I used to, but I don't lost it, I ain't gonna lie. All right, now you're just out here making music, and you just made an overtime song, so it's gonna come out in a little bit. We're excited for that. But now all your tracks you made, give me your, what's your favorite one you've ever made? Out of all my songs? Yeah, yeah. Probably my song, Bat Flipping. I ain't gonna lie. All right, I love that. And now, this game right now, City Reapers and Cold Hearts. City Reapers are up. You got a team you think's gonna win? The Reapers got it, I ain't gonna lie. They got the MVP, man. I'm not gonna lie, your, your lyric and the overtime song that's gonna come out, the City Reapers line might be my favorite, so I appreciate that, yeah. All right, well, Tyler, appreciate you checking in. We're gonna get back to the game. Appreciate you, bro. All right, I'll see you guys. Appreciate oh, it, Tyler. Man. Oh, man, oh, man, Thompson. Oh, He's playing Twister in the middle of the court after hitting a midi. The Thompson twins, bro, I mean, they got 47 combined points. Incredible. Oh, hell. 11 to 1 run by the City Reapers, and they're starting to pull ahead. When Rob Lay tries to get it going a little bit here late. There's still plenty of time, five minutes. When you gotta get stops, you gotta make shots. That's the, the, the name of the game. A man, pick and roll, kicks. And don't leave Eli Ellis over. Nate, oh, Nate. for three, short. Make me feel. Bryce with speed, oh, what a steal from Thompson. That's great defense on the open court, bro. Wow. I mean, they've been playing just pretty much a complete game. 24 and 23 points. In incredible game from Eli Ellis, Amen Thompson, Asar Thompson. This, that's just tough. Oh, that's, that's, like that's a pro shot right there. DeMar DeRozan-esque. Okay. By the way, Eli Ellis, we talked a lot about him in the first half not being available. The second half, he's been showing up. He got 16 points out of nowhere. He, did, he didn't have a three in the first three halves of this series. Second half, lighting it up. Man, I just let you know how quick he can light it up. And like I said, once he starts making shots, this City Reapers team is a totally different team. He opens up driving lanes for the Thompson Twins, and he forces you to stay home and not be able to help. Under, 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 under. The league leader in three-point percentage, 44% from three this year. Crazy. Turn around fade. Oh, wow. Wapé for three. Right, Bryce right, going the other right, way. Watch one. Walker pumps. Oh, One more. Hey. Bryce mid-range. Come on, come on, come on. Not over. Come on. Not over at all. We got a nine-point game. Coach Lado wants a timeout. All right. All right, some, some cold hearts showing some life. Now we got to find out. Still, still have a couple minutes. Let's take another look here. Everything, everything nice shot from Bryce Griggs. Top. Maybe pull up. Can never go wrong with that, man. He's going under, so it doesn't create an advantage. Right. Let's take a listen to City Reapers Huddle. Or so, or two or something that, 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 that has a lower screen. What about that, your, that, but, what but about set your, it lower, as I said, on the horse too. 52 or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, know that all top ball screens, they keep going under, all right? Take a deep breath. We got three and a half to go. Need all the energy we can muster right now, all right? All right, be smart on offense. Take good shots. When in doubt, drive the ball and lift it, all right? We 52. We 52. They come, remember, they're coming this way. So, Bryce, I want you right before half court. The next guy, John Ed. Rob, right here. Stompto and Tyler back here. We're trying to just make them use a little bit of clock. You hear me? And then once they cross half court, once they get cross half court, once they get about right here, we matching up man to man. You all right, Santo? You need one. You good? All right, come on. Let's come go, on, finish, go, finish, go. finish, finish, finish. One, two, three, finish. Three and a half minutes remaining. Nine point game. Still time left. Cole Hart needs some stops, though. So. Oh, yeah, they need to get stops, make shots. Get stops, make shots, get stops, make shots. It's that easy, right? And, and there's no, there's, there's no time to miss. Like, there's no time to miss. You got three and a half minutes. They're going to still score points. 
man gets to make shots. The toughest thing about this is the Coars have no room for error. They can't do turnovers because I believe the City Reapers are the best team in the fast break business oh, yeah. in the entire league. So they will no make question. you pay for bad mistakes. Oh, Eli? That, 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 that'll kill you. Good rebound by something. Yeah. Walker break. pushing, Bryce in the corner. Short. Needed that. Bad. And here we go, Asar. He's with a leg. He's too strong. And he wants to back. Wait, that was a clip foul. That was a clip foul. <laughs> no. Yeah, the rest of them That was hilarious. You. I don't appreciate you talking to me. Rice creaks. Oh, oh Tyler Smith. Smith. I'm about to have to catch it again. Ooh. I was ready. I was ready. The sideline catch from Asar. Nine point game. A stop and a three would make it a. If they shoot three. Yep. Now it's just all about playing it smooth, playing it smart, not trying to be a hero, earning some clock. Oh. Shot clock violation. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually very like surprised that they call I'm not. They haven't been calling me, so I'm not surprised they didn't call. <laughs> There's a drive from Bro. From Bryce and the finish from Tyler. Cars oh, gotta wake up. They don't seem active right now. That's what I'm saying. The game's bro. not over. Body language, bro. Tyler, no foul. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Yo, all right. Yo, these refs gotta what? love. What? Yo, these, <laughs> these refs gotta love what? 90s basketball, bro. <laughs> these guys be 90s I'm basketball I'm fans, bro. Right. They gotta be some of those back in my day refs. Wait. They not calling. Hold on, I'm about to watch it right now. Hold on, I'm about to. That's a foul. <laughs> That's insane, bro. <laughs> All right. Yo, this, this is literally no blood, no fire. <laughs> I've heard it before, but now I've it's seen it. It's 90s hoops. It's 90s hoops. Gotta be. This is prom 90s bad boys pissing defense right here. But I will say, at least they doing it on both sides. I think I can get seven to nine points in overtime. Seven to nine? Seven points to nine. How you get on you? Huh? Oh! Oh! Rim shaker! Oh, oh! We got bodies falling everywhere. We gotta talk. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Flipping, falling, can't get up. We gotta talk about that guy. Look, look, look. See, those, see those LeBron knives right there, man? Those big bangs. Mm -hmm. Very tight. I haven't seen those in a very long time. Very long time. I, I, just, I just brought those out last time we were here, buddy. Hey. Oh, you did? But well, uh, you know I haven't he, seen in a long time? He, a good he, fit from you. <laughs> he buddied you. He buddied you on air. <laughs> oh, man. I was talking about a real pair, Davis. Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. Not a fake bit, buddy. Eli with the floater. That's a dagger. One-legged floater from the free throw line. It's over with. Yeah, 11-point game. Rob spins. Uh, uh, call, uh, okay. yeah, at this point, it's no purpose of saying anything. <laughs> um, nah, I'm done. What in the world is happening? Rob Dillingham to the line. Hey, looking at some of these stat lines for the Reapers, those boys went off. Asar with 26, Amen with 23, Eli with 18. Eli be coming up big every time. 100%. And these players have all really impressed me with how much they've developed their game. Like, literally everyone on the court. Um, yeah, just from the beginning of the year. From the beginning of the year, but especially if you look at last year, Eli Ellis's game, are you kidding me? Uh, both the Thompson twins. Um, Nate adding his jump shot. Bryce Griggs coming to the league. Uh, this year a lot smoother. Um, John Ned just being the overall solid point guard he's been. A lot of impressive performances tonight, which is good because there's over 20 NBA execs, GMs, oh, scouts yeah. in the crowd. Got to do what matters most. Yep. Never a lot. Oh, good pass. Man, I feel like there's a foul at every end of the floor right now. Yeah, and then, well, there's an obvious one, you know. Yeah, man, I feel like they just, you know, 
They blowing that whistle to make up for the 12 they missed. 11 point game, 55 seconds left. We got Bryson Tiller at the line. Man, every time I say his name, it just. Right? It's crazy. Well, no, normally when he hits a bucket, you hear the you hear the no. Bryson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to do it. I'm glad you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can sing a little bit. You know, I won a karaoke champ three times my family reunion. All right, keep going, keep going. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm shy, man, I'm shy. Davis was ready to go out there at halftime. Oh, for sure. He was ready to go. That would have been hilarious, man. I've never seen somebody get booed in person. <laughs> Only on Twitter. You know who it was, too. Who? Who got booed on Twitter? One of my favorite rappers. <laughs> <laughs> it was heartbreaking to see, bro. Oh, man. Rob from three. Oh, my. Oh, did somebody tip that? I thought about the hit. Yeah. That's just about some. Hey, look, though, the way they've been playing. By the way, Asar came out with a lot of loud, big buckets. Mm -hmm. I feel like a man quietly came out of nowhere with 23 yeah. points. In you know what I'm saying? Both, Super. Both points. Yeah. And that is why it's going to be tough to beat the City Reapers because Amin and Asar are just very hard to guard. 49 of the 87 points tonight by the City Reapers belong to the Tops. Oh, man. Head tap, head not tap. Even, not, even, not even awake. Man, I'm kind of, hey, look, man, I love the cohorts as a team, as a, as a collective. I just really wish they would have played harder this game, man. I yeah, think they really had a good shot at winning the whole thing. Unfortunately, this is where the season ends. Yep. And the end of an era for this, this <clears throat> Cold Hearts team. Um, God, I wish that they were healthy for a lot of the year, could have gelled a little more together. You got so much talent on the court. Yeah. And this, Rob and Bryce. Yeah, and the new addition of Sampto. Definitely, oh. definitely added a lot of highlights. Uh, end of a very exciting era. Uh, Rob Dillingham and OT. And the City Reapers advance to the championship. Wow. Not surprising, though. Not shocking. I think we all seen going into the season that if the City Reapers, they're the number one seed, you can't really be surprised if they're making it to the championship. I'm just excited to see who they're going to be going up against to see some more basketball. City Reapers 89, Cold Heart 75, and the City Reapers are going to the finals. What a performance by the Thompson Twins. Combining for 49 of the 89 points. What a game, what a season. And the City Reapers aren't done yet. Take a look at the bracket. The City Reapers are waiting for the winner of the YNG Dreamers. And the Holy Rams Dreamers are up 1-0 in that best of three series. Game two will be tomorrow night. If the Dreamers take care of business tomorrow night, they have a date in the finals. The City Reapers. Imagine, imagine a one versus two seed. That would be crazy. Even if they played a, a Holy Rams, that would be crazy. Either way, go. I'm gonna be excited to watch. 100. percent I mean, but we gotta give cre credit to both the Thompson twins. The men came out here uh, shooting the lights out. Asar came through. Hey, everybody on the City Reapers did what they need to do. Eli Ellis coming in very, very heavy in the second half. Eli Ellis came to life, man. But we can't really talk about the City Reapers. But I was talking about what Asar did in the first half to kind of put him on his back and kind of lead them into the second half with a lot of confidence in that they can win this game. He hit threes, got buckets from the inside, outside. You've seen it all, day. Asar had an unbelievable first half. In the second half, a man, Eli, really took over from there. Unbelievable performance by the City Reapers. Uh, the end of an era for a lot of, of the Cold Hearts. But we are now joined by the Davis Dodds due to the day. Amen Thompson. Amen, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on going to the finals. What does going back to the finals mean to you? Um, it means a lot. This time I'm going to try to get a dub. Now, 
You played unbelievable tonight, 23, 11, and 6. Talk about what kind of zone you're in, especially in that second half. Um, just get them out of here, send them back home. You know, that's really all it was. Yo, this is your boy Snipe, man. I got to ask, bro, because I see the hard work you put in when no cameras is on, when the lights is off. Just talk to people at home about what goes into the way you prepare for games like this and how you get these results, bro. Oh, my, oh my God. I didn't even hear what you said because I <laughs> doing too much. No, nah, no, nah, you're good. I said, I said, I see you working when the lights is off, when it's just you, your brother in the gym, no camera zone. Talk to the people about how you prepare for moments like this and it allows you to thrive, man. Let them know the work you put in behind closed doors. Oh, yeah, just in here every day, you know. I'm really preparing for the draft, so this is a step in in that process, but, you know, you just got to put in the work. Amen, you and your bro, 49 points tonight. Mm -hmm. How happy are you with the script writers tonight? I mean, they wrote it good tonight. <laughs> they definitely wrote it good. Hey, Amen, congrats on the yes, win. Sir. Best of luck in the finals. Go celebrate with your teammates. Yes, sir. All right. That boy good. That boy good. That good. boy good. Great. C City Reapers knock off the cold hearts and punch their ticket to the finals. Hey, man, listen. If the City Reapers is playing in the end, in the finals, believe I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah. I ain't missing a game, a quarter. I ain't missing a minute. They'll I'm not blinking. They'll face the winner. <laughs> They'll face blinking. the winner of the Dreamers and the Holy Rams. For Davis, for Sniper, I'm Overtime Day. It's been a pleasure. We will see you back tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Peace. Make sure y'all make it, man. If you ain't here, you ain't nowhere. Oh, look at the wall. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Oh, man. That's tough right there. Couldn't be me. I'm turning around with a Gatorade bottle. I'm done.